From when I was really young, I was really interested in space. I would collect articles if there was anything in the newspaper to do with space, and I'd cut them out and stick them to my wall, along with any pictures that I could find to do with space. As a society, we socialize our women to go into caring professions. And so professions like medicine or education, women are there to help. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a ballet teacher or a ballerina. I latched onto it uh, pretty early and I watched my sister and, and wanted to be like her. Definitely didn't connect my fascination with space as like a viable career option because um, you don't consider that something that's feasible when you're growing up in Edmonton, Alberta and nobody around you was working in that industry. I'm maybe like seven or something and my friend's mom asks me what I want to be when I grow up and I pull out the new word that I just learned and I said, I'm going to be a cosmologist. And she says, no honey, you mean cosmetologist. <laughs> When you look at the big, grand challenges that are um, coming to us now, things like clean water issues, food and water uh, security, climate change, uh, disease prevention, these aren't easy problems to solve. We need different perspectives and different uh, lived experiences coming to the table to share how we're going to solve that. Otherwise, Canada is going to be left behind. As my parents and I were looking at science camps that I could go to over the summer, looking at my options, I said to my mom, I don't know if I want to do these because I'm afraid I'm going to be the only girl. And so we found the Discover L camps that Discover E offers, and they're restricted to just girls, and I was very excited. Originally, we had only 20% women coming to our camps and our programming, and we had no Indigenous youth. Fast forward 25 years, now we actually are at parity. We have more than 50% women attending our camps. And we have a huge amount of Indigenous youth that are participating as well. So there's been a huge demand for this type of programming. Now we reach over 25,000 students a year. They showed me that I could really belong in that environment and pursue my passion for science and engineering. So I just wanted to try it again. I wanted another challenge like that because I knew that I could do better. So we know Discovery is working because we have students like Callie who as a high school student didn't even see herself as an engineer. But because of her experience of attending Discovery, she saw instructors that looked like her and she was inspired by that, saw herself and then came into undergrad. But Callie, she's incredible. Now she's participating in AlbertaSat, the first satellite ever to be launched in Canada by an undergrad student group. I mean, it's unheard of. The highlight has to be going to Cape Canaveral, to the Kennedy Space Center there, to see the launch of the Atlas V rocket that took the Exalta one satellite to space. I was hearing the blast of the rocket and feeling everything around me shake. And, and it was such a an overwhelming experience at the time. Being there amongst all sorts of other people who are working at NASA or who have various other science experiments, payloads going up on the same rocket as you, and being able to talk about your payload was nothing short of amazing. There's a huge opportunity by investing in discovery. We can tell these women that you belong, you matter, you have something incredible to contribute through your perspective and lived experience. I'm really passionate about space. So I know that nothing is going to stop me from achieving my goals. And there are always people, if I look, who are willing to give me a little bit of fuel or ammunition to keep going.